this is not going to be me going through the desktop environment or running these distros inside of a virtual manager, virtual machine manager, sorry. So I'm just going to explain why I think you should use Linux Mint or Endeavor OS. I'm just going to explain why I think one distro is better than the other for certain tasks and how I use them. So Linux Mint is not a rolling release distro. Endeavor OS is a rolling release distro, which means that you get the latest packages and software on Endeavor OS. You do not get that on Linux Mint. Linux Mint usually stays the same for a while. For example, Linux Mint 20 still has old packages and old software. It does not ship the latest software, although you can use Flathub and Flatpaks to download the latest software, but it is not part of the official package manager that comes with Linux Mint. Endeavor OS is based on Ars Linux. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, which is based on Debian. Linux Mint comes with a lot of customization already with the distro, whereas Endeavor OS only has their desktop environment called XFCE customized for the user. All the other desktop environments have a very little amount of customization. Basically, they ship a few colors and a desktop theme, but they do not really theme the desktop environment. In fact, you have an option to choose the vanilla desktop environments when you install Endeavor OS. Endeavor OS ships with Yay, which is a AUR helper, which allows you to download packages from the AUR. The AUR is one of the largest repositories that any Linux distro currently has. And Linux Mint is based on Debian and Ubuntu. After you use the AUR, if you consider the AUR and the Arch official packages, the amount of packages that Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint has is comparable to Arch plus the AUR. If you are a power user, you will probably find Endeavor OS to be a little bit more palatable as Endeavor OS doesn't do any significant amount of customization or doesn't do any significant amount of um, presets when it gets installed. You have to do almost everything yourself including file sharing if you have a desktop environment such as KDE and you install KDE using Endeavor OS, you will not find the file sharing option in Endeavor OS, whereas in Linux Mint, I believe it is there right from the start. Linux Mint is, is slightly buggy whenever they have a new release. In fact, uh, you can see forum posts about Linux Mint 21 being the buggiest release ever for Linux Mint. Uh, I've tried Linux Mint 21. I didn't find any bugs except for the audio bug that has existed since Linux Mint 19. But Endeavor OS, generally speaking, the Arch-based system itself doesn't have bugs. The software that sometimes it ships has bugs. For example, the KDE bug that was recently released, you can say, uh, it was the Power Devil KDE bug, which I've covered on this channel. And uh, it, it broke for a lot of people. And I made a video about that as well. But generally speaking, if Linux Mint breaks, its core component might break. Whereas if you use Endeavor OS, it's usually the desktop environment or the software on top of it that breaks. Sometimes Linux Mint, when it breaks, it really breaks. Like there is, uh, you can sometimes log into it. Uh, there are graphical glitches, which is due to something that you may have done and you don't know about it. Especially when upgrading between uh, between point releases, you're going to 
face you might face some bugs or you might you might encounter some bugs whereas in in devos it's rolling release so whenever there is a package upgrade you know exactly what was upgraded so you can basically just figure out what what went wrong and then downgrade the package or do some did or solve the problem yourself as i did on for, for the power devil bug that was recently released Linux Mint is good for people that wish to just do um, a small amount of tasks, but they want a system that doesn't change much. So, it, it, like Linux Mint is going to stay the same through its uh, through uh, through through its life cycle. Basically, it's not really going to change. Whereas Endeavor OS, because its Arch base will change multiple times as the desktop environment might ship things, which will which will basically uh, change your system significantly and uh and that might ruin your workflow or you might need you might need to relearn a few things so linux mint is good for people that uh, wish to just get started and uh get first of all get started with linux and also our intermediate users who just want a system that doesn't change and the software that they use it stays like that and they can work on it and they do not need to have the latest software to get things working and devos is for people that actually want the latest latest uh, software and also want a very simple method to install things because on Arch Linux you do not have to worry about versions or anything like that you just install the latest version and the dependencies the pacman package manager or if you're using an aur helper is automatically going to pull all the dependencies that you uh, that that are basically th that are uh, that are required for it whereas on ubuntu based distributions like linux mint you might run into a problem where you want to install a software a piece of software but you also have to figure out which version is right for you and then there is an issue with PPAs breaking systems there are there are things like that that you need to consider Linux Mint's a flagship this uh, flag, flagship desktop environment is the cinnamon desktop environment which is quite limited if you compare it to something like KDE which is available on Endeavor OS and uh, it is uh, cinnamon is good for uh, people that that wish to have a very simple but not uh, very complicated desktop environment however it is true that cinnamon has some features that kde does not have for example the user management tool that cinnamon ships with is much better than the one that kde has kde for some reason does not ship with a very good user management tool as far as i know and um that there are certain features that KDE that Cinnamon does better, whereas KDE is overall more powerful and feature rich. But if you really want to get work done and you're not really concerned about the features that may improve your workflow, then KDE is probably not for you. If you want the same Windows 10 or Windows 10 or Windows 11 like um, like workflow, Cinnamon is going to provide that to you. Whereas KDE, the workflow is a little bit similar to windows 10 and 11 but it does it it is a little bit different because you have to customize it or uh, you have to customize it you have to go into bash profile or uh, bash rc to change a few things uh, have some environment variables to get things looking consistent because K, uh, because uh, kde is a qt is 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 uh is qt based so or qt based so uh, there are certain inconsistencies when the if you if you do not if you just use it as it is. So uh, there are certain things that you need to install in KDE which do not come with it. At least Endeavor OS. The last time I installed Endeavor OS, it it didn't really give me everything that is required to have a consistent experience. I had to install some some software myself and some packages myself. Uh, Linux Mint has bugs that are still present in it for quite a long time as uh, stable releases usually mean that the bugs they don't change just like the system doesn't change the bugs don't change so once you have fixed them you don't need to worry about uh, your distribution your sorry your install for the next two years 
Whereas in Endeavor OS, if a major update of a desktop environment is released or a major update of a, of a, um, of a software is released, you may encounter bugs or you may have to fix bugs that weren't there uh, previously. But the advantage is that uh, with Endeavor OS is that you have a very simple, uh, simple package, a package manager, very simple install. In a, a very, it's very simple to install software on uh, Endeavor OS. It's terminal centric, which means it kind of forces you to use a terminal, which is a good thing as using a terminal is more consistent than using a GUI. And uh, sometimes the uh, sometimes GUI tools don't really tell what went wrong if something does go wrong. And GUI tools also break very often, and they break on Windows as well. So they break often on Linux Mint and on Arch Linux or Endeavor OS as well. So uh, when you're forced to use a command line tool, uh, you have more consistent experience. Uh, you also get used to the command line, which is very powerful, and uh, you're not rel relying on GUI tools, which may break or may not give you a reason why something failed. So that is really my uh, comparison with you. And if you wish to support me, please take a look at the links in the description. If you wish to become a freelance game developer, consider buying my course. And if you wish to get a game developed by me, please consider taking a look at my website as uh, I am a freelance game developer. And um, this is one way you can support me. You just order a game from me and uh, that's one way you can support me.